Many people are accusing Israel of committing genocide, an absurd claim. Do you know why? Because unfortunately, genocide is a simple math problem. Let me explain. Before the Holocaust, there were 9.5 million Jews living in Europe. After the Holocaust, only 3.5 million Jews, which means 6 million Jews were murdered during the Holocaust. Just listen to them, a third generation of a Holocaust survivor. My grandfather and his family lived in Hungary. When he was 13, instead of celebrating his bar mitzvah, he and his whole family were taken to Auschwitz. And he's the only one who survived from his mother, brother, sister, and father. He was the smallest one. In age 16, he came to Israel and protect Israel so the genocide won't happen again. But unfortunately, on the 7th of October, it did happen again. For example, the story about Abigail, only four years old. And just like my grandfather, he saw her prince murdered in front of her eyes. And also Abigail was kidnapped to Gaza by the terrorist organization Hamas. And just for your information, during the Holocaust, the Nazis murdered over 1.5 million kids, Jewish kids. Do you know why? Because they didn't want my people to grow back. They wanted to eliminate us. That's genocide. But do you know what is not genocide? In 1948, there were 100,000 Arabs living in Gaza. Today, there are over 2 million Arabs living in Gaza. In 1948, there were a couple of hundred thousand Arabs living in the West Bank. Today, according to the Palestinians, there are over 3.3 million Arabs living in the West Bank. In 1948, there are 156,000 Arabs living in Israel. Ben, my family, was one of them. Today, we are 2 million Arabs living in Israel. You don't want to believe me? You don't want to believe a kid? Fine. Check the Palestinian Statistic Office. You heard him. <laughs>